Big Run Production. What's poppin' y'all once again? Y'all got MC Ron Ski, the OG, aka Big Run 357, with another edition of No Chill, No Filter TV. Got another special guest in the house, man. One of the coldest that's doing it out here in battle rap right now. Tell him who he is, my man. It's your boy LL Cool G, man. 93 OG Pen Gang. You already know what I'm saying. What up? In real life. So check this out, man. Of course, I had to get this man down here, man, because it's a whole lot that I wanted to talk to him about, but we just gonna touch on a few things, and then I'm gonna let him take the flow. First things first, you got a battle coming up, right? Yeah, I got a battle July 1st coming up on Go Hard or Go Home in Milwaukee, Wisconsin versus Granddaddy Perp. And then I got a battle on Black Ice Cartel, third week of July. The date ain't locked in yet because they dropped the flyer and all that, but I battled Gucci from Indiana on Black Ice Cartel, too, in July. So you battling on Black Ice Cartel right now? Yeah. I mean, well, not right now, right now, I mean, but... yeah, I'm, I just joined their roster, like, like I said, like, last week. Okay, so, I mean, is this something that they, y'all had to kind of, like, get together? Yeah, like, they, 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 yeah, yeah, John Doe, the cameraman there that wanted to uh, help run the whole league with Black Ice, they say they thought I was dope and they wanna wanna fuck with me and shit and want me to get down with their team because like I said, I was I was on their first car. I won my first car they got they made back in the middle this year, April sixteenth, when I had a good ass showing. Like always, and like I said, they was impressed, so they want to fuck with me. Right. No. Okay. And put okay. me on the big the, the best the biggest platform with the best camera work and everything in the Milwaukee. For they sure. they well respected in this battle rap world and everything too. So and what why not? Okay, okay, yeah, man. And I mean, it ain't it ain't like you finna, you know what I'm saying, come up there and get bodied or nothing like right, that. Right, yeah. You know, it ain't, it ain't like they got a Rudy poop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, they, they know they know what they did when they had when they added you to the roster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is on that. So, yeah, but that's all good, man. And um, your last battle with J. Lopez, yeah, I was in the building. Yeah, J. Lopez. What, what was your thoughts on him, man? Uh, man, dog. You know, it was from 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 from, from the start to finish. You know, but it was bars back and forth. But yeah. you know, honestly, man, I like your intellect, man. It's yeah. like you know the things that you say, man. They kind of have me like, okay, you know, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like that. You know, and Jay Lopez, don't no look. I ain't taking nothing from you, brother. You know what I'm saying. Salute. But for real, for real, man, you you came. You came, you came like you supposed to have. I mean, you, you, you was what I expected. You know yeah, what I'm saying? From my last battle on LW. Right. I, I went out with a bang, and then like I tell people, like you know, I'm a bar for bar guy. But right. as you seen, that I can, I can, I can go angles. I can break a nigga down if I want to. Right. right you see right. me break down a nigga whole slogan. Right. And you're like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like so, like so, like that's what I'm saying. Is like you know, with like with that being said, like you said, I got all type of attributes. I just bring them out. When it's time to bring them out, right? And I right. feel like I ain't gotta really do too much to do. You. I, I go hard every battle, but if I ain't gotta do that to you, I ain't gonna do it. But if I feel like I gotta do it, you gonna feel it, and I made them feel it. Nah, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You nice, but they're always saying like it's always levels to it. Like man, J Lopez has always agreed. Agree, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying too, because we fuck with each other on a personal level too. Right. That's how the battle shit. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is with the, uh. Like, well, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? I do have the footage with me. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to get my computer savvy down, man, yeah. so I can start sending stuff because the stuff that dropped, that um, Sparks did, I was supposed to have sent him that footage, man. But, I mean, I'm... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not computer literate enough, man, right. to do all that right yeah. now. So that's that's the reason why anytime we do something, I'm like, man, you wanna go ahead and download it now. So he did, he he did have other angles, you know what I'm saying? And because I, I wasn't able to send him the, the the footage, he only had the side angle, you know what I'm saying? So that's my bad right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Respect, brother. So, but in in, in any event, man, once again, man, I enjoyed myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, with with you that and was your, yeah, that, that was your second battle. Yeah, that was your third battle film because you filmed me in Element Rhymes too. Yeah. And nah, then then, then yeah. the first one you ever filmed was me and G. So I, I think every time you film me, I think I I, I do a very good yeah, job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Showing up. And you know, I don't. I, I think it's just getting to a point where everybody expecting you to do that now, because. Honestly, you know, I was talking to Chris Kane earlier, yeah. and he was like, "Man, you know, um, you know, when you started off, it was kind of rocky, it was rough, you know, you yeah. was choking and stuff like that." But I'm like, I can't see that because yeah. right now, dog, you just 
you get up there like this me right here. So y'all back up, back up. Here. Yeah, my own, I only back, I, 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 on a few, I have 20, 23 battles now. Like, I'm waiting for, like, Joey Lopez and my, my other battle on Black Ice to come out after. They're going to drop my battle on Black Ice, too, the one I did on April 16th. Right. And I got them two coming out, so I had 25 battles and all together. You know what I'm saying? And then, I, 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 I only, like, I only, like, I said I like kind of I only choke like in like two to three battles out of twenty five. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Now with that being said, man, um, with your next battle, who yes. is that you gonna be? Who you about to my be next, battling? My next battle, I got like I said, I'm go hard or go home. July right. first. This Granddaddy Perp, yeah, one of the top five guys from uh, Indiana. Wait, Black Eyes or Go Home? Go, go Home? Or go Home. Okay, okay. Little Jack Granddaddy Perp, he's battled B-Magic, he's battled A-Verb, he's battled all of them on the platform out there in Ball Hall. I went in, I was, that was one of my third battles, my, my second battles in three weeks. I had battled, um, um, when I did the Cortez card, mm -hmm. May tw March 25th, we did that card, I battled Element Rhymes. Then I went, you know what I'm saying, after that, another week after that, and battled in Indiana, April 8th, I battled Nice out there, okay. in three rounds and shit, and then on April 16th, I turned around and battled on Black Ice one round, so I battled three times in two, wow. two three Wow, since, since I seen you, you battled two more times after yeah, that? Yeah, I battled twice, April 8th, then April 16th, after March 25th, that's two, three, that's three battles in less than two, two to three weeks. So have, have those, um, have those all, dropped? Yeah, all, all, all of them, uh, besides the Black Ice, my Black Ice battle dropping after uh, the 7th, they, they finna drop QP and Born, and okay. after that, John Doe 7, they finna drop my battle after that shit, I Man. talked to them recently. So okay. I got, yeah, so that'd be my third, I, I battled three times in three weeks. Three weeks, you know what I'm saying? We got busy. You know, on the first two battles was three rounds. The last one was a one round battle on Black Ice. How you do? Yeah, you gonna see the footage when it drop. I did crazy. <laughs> Why did they want me in the roster? <laughs> right, <laughs> right, crazy, right. You know I already know, man. I already know. And like I said, um, me and Jay Major had touched on this, man. Uh, uh -huh. Salute to Jay Major, man. Y'all are some intellectual cats, man. I mean, I'm a rapper myself, yeah. man. But for real, for real, you do. Y'all gotta actually write for every single battle. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, people so, don't understand, like. It's like same thing, like it's like when you performing songs, like I, cause I, I do music too. When you perform songs, you can go to the uh concert, your concert, and, and perform the same songs every time. Right, right. When you battle rap, you gotta have fresh material every time. Right, and it gotta be right. memorized. Okay. No fuck ups until the day is. They don't want you to flip up at all. They just they they they, they ducking points. You right. said word wrong, you deducting points. Okay, so, okay. Motherfucker, so it's like that's how you just gotta have fresh material every time in battle rap. That's what makes it different from making music. Okay. But everybody that everybody that hears my music, they, they know like that. Like Goku, you don't sound like how you sound like battle rap. Like it's like still dope as fuck. Okay. They don't, they, they don't be expecting it because you know battle rappers like I battle can't make music. Right. They always still in that battle form. Okay. My shit is just like totally totally different. I have nine mixtapes on live mixtape that pip SoundCloud Spinnerilla my mixtape app. Sign, uh, Send, uh, yeah, uh, certified mixtapes, okay. all that. I wanted to, if you Google right now, LL Cool G MTV, I'm one of the artist features on LL, uh, MTV com. Okay. MTV artists, I'm on that. I'm on Hip Hop Indie. I've been shouted out by Pee Wee Longway, Cash Out from Atlanta. Like, all I'm saying, niggas would check blue checks on their name the whole nine. Like, yeah, so when niggas, it. so when Got niggas, it. So when niggas to like was saying like that, like niggas just gotta talk. I've been me at the last uh Cortez event, I was just co signed Norb Norbs from URL, the scouts from URL Norbs. You know what I'm saying? He fuck with me and my cousin, my blood cousin Hula. Cause people don't like know they don't know that me and Hula is blood cousin. Okay. Yeah, so Oh, okay, rough it, rough yeah, it, rough, I just rough, I just dropped yeah. his vlog. Yeah, right. so like like you know what I'm saying, he fuck with me and Hulam, you know what I'm saying? I like I said it was a big thing out of like all we had all the top guys on the car did that then, like out of all the dies he was more than me and Hulam. So that says a lot. Hell yeah! Well, you know, out of, I all, out of all the thousand million battle rappers in the world now. Well, you know, like like I was like I said before, man, y'all that black grain of sand and that sea of brown. Tank, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and and honestly, I can see that. I I, I literally like I, I got some favorites, man. But when I when I'm when I'm talking like tops, man, I mean. I would actually come and definitely check you and um, you and your cousin out, man. Hoodlum is, that's an intellectual brother too, man. Yeah. That dude, he, he got bars in real life, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I can appreciate that, man. And you know what? I like it so much, man, because y'all actually put y'all time and y'all effort into writing around. Yeah, you know it's, always it's always time and effort into things like, and that's, the, and that's the bad thing for an MC because like, when you, like I tell people, don't underestimate me and think I can't do something when you know what I'm doing. Cause I'm dangerous at every every aspect, and I showed that I can show that to Jay Lopez. Right. I bar I, I I proved that I can outbar you easily. Right. 
with the haymakers and bars. Then I hit you know my, my signature to kill switch. I'm going to hit you with that. <laughs> that eliminates everything you just said. Right. Then I, if I find an angle, if I get an angle that I want to netch on, I'm going to take that angle and break everything down about it and make, make tell you, make sure that you're not making no sense with that and make it make sense to you and everybody else in the whole room going to rub like I did with the gas and power. Right, okay. okay. So, I definitely take time and what I do, if, I guess, if I'm not sure about something, I look it up, I make sure I'm saying what I'm saying is potent and what I'm saying is right because I don't want to feed y'all no bullshit. Right, right, so for I'm sure. Not gonna, that, and that's gonna, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm not going to feed y'all, I'm not going to feed y'all no bullshit. I'm not going to like, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to feed y'all no bullshit. I'm not going to, like I said, like go out there, like I said, and not like give all my all of my 100%, you know what I'm saying? Because if I go out there and get my 100% and lose, I'll be happy. But if I go out there and fuck up, I'm not going to be as sweet. <laughs> I feel you. That's so that, that's, that's, but that's, then, and then my attitude, I don't go into something thinking I already got it won. Right. That's how you got it fucked up. And like I like, when I think of how I always get on the nigga ass to where I was going, because I don't be seeing defense. Everything, I, if I lose a battle, it's on me. Right, for Same sure. thing with Element Ron battle. Element Ron's had with dope shit. He had a lot of dope shit. You know sure. what I'm saying? But be honest for with sure. you, he was so intellectual. A lot of people didn't even know what he was talking about, bro. Yeah, he was saying real, a lot of big words. People good, people are big dog, big words. It's like when a person rap fast, don't mean they're saying then they just rapping fast. Right, right. right. So, That's it don't mean it's potent, you know what I'm saying, because you just rap a fade saying a lot of big words. And people in there, I like, bro, a lot of people in there probably even gra they fucking but, graduate from Hawking High School or, or, fucking, or fucking middle school. So you want to tell, tell me, y'all motherfuckers can't even name the fucking 50, 50 states and shit, but motherfuckers can't. <laughs> You don't tell me you know what the periodic tables and the elements he was talking about was. No, you don't. And, and see, that, and that's the thing. That's that's the reason why I said that dude was so dope. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm sitting up there listening to him like, wow. And it's it's the stuff that he was saying. I'm I'm I'm, I'm you know, of course, I'm holding the camera, so yeah. I can't I can't blast Reacts out. It, yeah. So you know, every time he say something, they're like you know what I'm saying. And I'm like, and I look around, and nobody really responding. I'm like, they didn't understand what dude just said. They don't understand. They knew the, life, they knew, man. They knew but, the comment like dumb down shit. Right, exactly. So with that being said, man, you know, first things first before we continue, I know y'all noticed there was some cats that just walked in behind me. I'm going to let y'all know right now, man, um, we got the whole, pretty much, almost the whole pin gang click in the house, man. We got C-Hit, we got Chris oh, Kane, you know what I'm saying? They, they, of course, they here to do theirs also, you know what I'm saying? But since they was here, I ain't want them sitting off to the side in the audience. They might as well get in it. You know what I'm saying? Since this is a part of Pen Gang, you know what I'm saying? You got Pen Gang, the Pen Gang founders behind me, you know what I'm saying? See hit Chris Kane. So I'm glad that these brothers came down here. And like I said, we was just sitting up here talking about just chopping it up, man, with me and my dude, LL Coogee, man. We chopping it up on the actual factuals of the battle rap thing. And, you know, just like anybody else. But now it's time to get to that one question. Everything that we was just talking about was super serious. This man is one of the coldest that's doing it right now, man. And I feel like... I see him up there with those cats that's actually doing it, doing it. I'm talking about that's 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 picking up numbers, and I feel that he on his way. But for real, for real, my question to you is, man, how do you feel about the rap industry today? And what I mean by that is, man, the direction that it's going, man. I mean, it seems like they're trying to feminize us right now, man. It just seems like every time I turn around, I'm seeing big neck shirts, and I'm seeing purses, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all this, man. Some shit so, ain't magical wear. Some right. shit ain't magical wear. Some shit ain't magical wear. Some shit body gang can wear. Some, 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 some real nigga shit. Okay, okay, okay. Tight okay. ass jeans and shit. Right. Funny niggas <laughs> Cold cause they got bars and shit. Niggas wanna do vlogs, nigga. Okay. Fuck you, nigga. Right, right. Okay, no chill, no filter. No chill, hey, no filter. I need, I need, no chill, no filter. They gotta yeah. happen every episode. Actually, of course. But, game. but, okay. All right, I get you, I get you. But this is a question posed to my man, L.L. Coogee. What do you feel about that, man, as an artist? Seeing as how you do got your music out there and you is pumping. Yeah. What do you feel about that, I man? About what do you think that you can do? To make that a little bit better, man. To bring that back home. You know, with, with my being said, even though I'm 24, like I was born in '93, so my whole point, like I said, I'm not like with, like my generation. I can't lie, like I said, I don't like some of the music, right? Because I do. But like I said, but like all the dressing like a woman and all the other the shit. The image, right? That shit, like yeah, that shit corny as a bitch. Like that shit, <laughs> I ain't rock. I, I I don't rock with it. Like I said, man, like I'm in the ripped jeans and all that. shit. I got some on now, but my shit ain't skin we tight. We all did that. Yeah, right, my shit ain't right. skin tight. We all did that. And, and you don't shit, see no skin. Yeah, I don't see no skin. Like yeah, right. my shit ain't skin tight. So it's like pretty much like you just know, my man. It's it's like a, and then at the same time, it's like it's what it's what they, what they put in front of the TV. 
and what they what they portray because you know it's all type of they even got like you no know saying that gay cartoons and gay like on yeah, Disney Channel and all type right, of right. Oh, like homosexual couples and shit like right. kids, you know pretty much like promoting that because at the end of the day because it's all about money because it's honestly you know what I'm saying a lot of motherfucking uh, artists biggest fans and people that be buying them tickets is homosexual people. Yeah. And gay trainees and people all type of like that. Right. And then, like I said, it's always a double edged story because look at like a lot of people they try to like instead of being they sell they always sell out to for the money and all that stuff like that. But like the same thing, it's hard to tell a person. You know what I'm saying? What how they work? I, I'm not gonna tell a person what to do, like to do or try to but what, what they want to do with their life. Right. You know what I'm saying because they might be thinking like, damn, I might have to do this because you know. What I'm gonna do to feed my family? I ain't got no diploma. I don't got no what else to do. This the only right. thing I've been made it with. You know what I'm right. saying? So I gotta just do what I gotta do. Some right. some mother, some of the motherfuckers you never know. You like you never meet. You might meet them and they might not like like not like wearing it. They must might wear it because like I said, they gotta make their money. Well, you know what? I definitely understand that, and that's definitely selling out to do it just for the money. Yeah. You know? So if that's the case, you would pretty much do anything. Yeah, for pretty the money much. Then. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, but in what my age with women and these guys, that's how they mentality. They they people. Be like being a stripper for a woman is like normal now. Right. And kissing like, another another female. Female is normal. Is normal. Yeah. Like with me, me, me personally, like I tell a motherfucker like a female I was with asked me can she go a real like a relationship, but asked me can she go on a date with a woman? I look at them like what? She mean you can go on a date with a woman. Right. Like what type of shit is that? Like <laughs> So I don't know what type of I, I I mean I have a threesome with a with a with a bitch that ain't my bitch, but like right. if you my girl, you're not gonna be eating no bitch pussy this trying to <laughs> kiss on me and shit. <laughs> Like, bitch, that's how you get yeast infections on your fucking lips and shit. <laughs> Fuck it. You get motherfucking lips and fucking all type of venereal diseases and all type of shit. Then wonder why you walk around with bumps on your shit and shit. All fucked up. Like, man, it's just a cold, so that motherfucker been there for a year. Right. <laughs> and honestly, yeah, man, and honestly, smart. man, in, in real life, though, but in, in real life, though, man, they really trying to, and, and what I'm seeing is, it's like a bigger picture, because I see them really trying to shove that homosexual stuff down our throats, man. It, 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 it's it, just it, to a point yeah. where, look, I don't care what the case is, man. This, this is my thing yeah you know and, and I'm, I'm gonna use a, a prime example scarface right you never seen scarface in the big movies and the big pictures no you know what i'm saying that man every time every time scarface music came out how did you hear about it seriously me myself thank you somebody pull up yeah. man and you will hear that voice yeah, hear me. Yeah. Yeah, hear and when me. you hear that voice you that's a yeah, hear me. Yeah, hear me. scarface made anywhere between one and three hundred thousand dollars a year off of that and he, he could have sold out he could have right. he could have went mainstream he could have did all this stuff that, right. that 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 all these cats doing he refused right. to do it like he said he said no i'm not gonna yeah same like e40 did. you know what i'm saying e40 didn't, didn't go no mainstream man yeah, yeah it did straight up them real them real rappers cut back Right, you know and you can't you can't do it for a little bit. You got to say, okay, yeah. this is Make what this you do. Song, All right, you know what I'm gonna do. Okay, if this is what y'all want to do, then then yeah, I'll agree to do this song with this guy. All right, then when they do that song, think about it. It don't blow up because he didn't go all the way to the left with it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, now that you did this song for us, hey, check this out. Like like it. like they did with Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. They was like, hey man, you know what? We doing this clip, but I think it would be it would be funny as hell, man, if you dressed up like a woman. Yeah. He's like, no, it wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah. It would be funny if he dressed up like a female. Now, all of a sudden, he crazy and he running off. He ducking yeah. 50 million and all this. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. And you absolutely right about that. But, but every, every, yeah, it, it, it's like that. Like, it's, it's, like, it's either, like I said, you're going to be satisfied, like I said, making a couple hundred thousand. Right. Every day. But like I said, bro, it's not even like that. But like how, and like how Nipsey Hussle and everybody else do it. Like, motherfuckers, like, bro, you can, how did everything so gay, how the internet is now, like, bro, you can make millions on the internet being underground. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, look at Tech 9 Yeah. Tech yeah, 9 yeah, ain't millions, sold millions, out, man. Millions, yeah, 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 Tech yeah. 9 ain't sold out. Tech yeah, 9 so you, taking care of Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much what you want to do. You want to put on the damn dress. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> and, and, and you know what, man? For real, for real, though, like I said, and, and that's just one of the reasons why I really just can't get with the the, the new the new, the new new wave of rap today. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because, you know, even though I'm, I'm, I'm 24, my favorite rappers is Nas and Scarface. Right. Like, all my, my, my Scarface, my Space Scarface songs is with the one he did with Ghetto Boys, David Feels Good to Be a Gangster. Oh, yeah. Then, 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 it's, then, then my other one is No Tears. I think that's from the Diary album. Yeah, yeah. But niggas, I mean, Whatever your name, I'm gonna like it. Yeah, <laughs> niggas don't, that's Scarface. Niggas don't, Scarface like, but like I'm saying, you ask, a, you ask a nigga that's 23 right now outside, what, what random nigga that's 23, how old you like 22, 23? What you ever heard? Them feel good to be a gangster. Like who the fuck is that? Like, like, uh, they, they be acting like bro, that shit. Or they, or they, they, they ain't even they, they don't have an opinion of it because they never heard it. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless you roll and look. 
I look my big brother, Kurt, love you, man. You know what I'm saying? He rolled, he rolled through on this motorcycle bumping Just Ice. Don't nobody know who dude is. Just Ice was one of the coldest that ever did it back in the day, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about when I'm hearing it, I'm like, see, that's what I'm talking about. So you know what? In a nutshell, man, I feel that rap needs to be taken back. People are always saying, like, yeah, you too old to rap. I feel we need more OG rappers, man, that, that came up around, uh, man, the KRS-1s, the Buster Rhymes, you know what I'm saying? Even Run DMC. Those type of basic raps we need to get back. All this stuff that's happening today, man, is just dumbing down America, man. It's dumbing down these kids, man, for real. That's why you got these kids out here, man. They stealing cars, man. They think it's cool, man, to go out there, man, and jack, man, like they playing um, Grand Theft Auto yeah. or something. You know what I'm saying? We need, to, we need to bring more intelligence back to rap. That's why I appreciate about you battle rappers, man. You dudes are some intelligent cats. That's the reason why if you ever bring out a CD or if you do got music, man, I need to go and check that out because yeah. I know it's going to be in a, in a my, And then, like, people that, see that, people that see my shit, like I said, all my shit on the major same sites you see future them shit drop, same sites you see, like, like everybody, like a major artist, all my same, my shit be on the same site. Okay. All cool, the same cool. sites, so. I said, man, like, check me out live mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on Twitter at the real LL Coogee, on Instagram at LL Coogee, you know what I'm saying? No E, just L-L-C-O-O-G-I, you know what I'm saying? Everything, YouTube, LL Coogee, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, the same thing, LL Coogee, man. Just, like I said, if you fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Tag me, you know what I'm saying? Mention me. Make sure you appreciate me, you know what I'm saying? There's always love, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate my fans, anybody that try to fuck with me to try to do interviews, do, like I said, music, have me get on features or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It is just, like I said, we just going to the next plateau with it. And then my plan, my plan, like I said, is just keep going hard, stay, you know what I'm saying, stay focused on what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? And just, like, I just want people just to, at the end of the day, it's about, it's, uh, I just want you to be you, you know what I'm saying? Even if, even, even if you in, like, if you really, hey, see, it's not, and then the big thing about it, it's the, it's the confusion in it. Because if you gay, if you openly gay, that's going to be just you. Right. It's the people that, it's the, what bothers me is the niggas that's undercover gay. Right. And right. then when I act like they ain't gay when they wearing all these open ass tight ass jeans and tight right. shirts and right. motherfucking doing gay ass dances and all that stuff <laughs> and they hear purple, red and blue and right. shit. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So if you're gonna be open gay, be you don't own that cause I'm I'm not a person that big on bashing people for being them because people commit suicide and yeah. kill themselves, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Cause because they that. like what they like. Cause right. at the end of the day, you gotta talk to God about your own sins, not exactly. me. Exactly. Exactly. That's between you know them saying? and God. Yeah, right. at, at the end of the day. Cause I everybody got somebody in their family that's homosexual yeah. or gay. Pretty or much. dyke or whatever going on, you know what I'm saying? Case, you, right. I don't, I don't love them no less for being what they is. For sure. So, just don't, just don't try to don't, shove it on me. Yeah, don't, don't, don't try to shove it down my damn throat. Right, right. You know don't what try to shove it on me. Cause I like ass, no women, girls, <laughs> pussy, <laughs> lots of it. Okay, oh, man, check man. this out, man. We gonna wrap don't this session up, man. City. We gonna, we, we gonna wrap this session up, man. I have my man in the house, man, LL Kooji. Good looking, brother, man. That's what I'm talking about, brother. I'm glad you came through, man. And look, y'all already know we got more vlogs today. Look, I got I got C hit. Chris Kane done already did his. I may just do a special edition and you know what I'm saying? Y'all might just see C hit and Chris Kane sit up here and chop it up. Whatever the case, it's your big homie, MC Ronski, the OG, no chill, no filter TV. Until the next one, man, stay upset. Peace. Chris Kane.